This empty gym here reminds me so much of a gym I grew up in Clemson, South Carolina. I literally spent thousands upon thousands of hours in a gym just like this. The only real sounds I ever heard was the cracking of the floor, the echoes of the rafters, or maybe just the ball hitting the rim or against the backboard. It was an exciting time of my life. And I'm here today, the purpose of this video is to teach you how to shoot. I've divided it up into three sections. First of all is the mechanics of shooting a basketball, the fundamental part of it. The second part is, of course, the psychology of shooting a basketball. And the third part is the application of the skills of shooting a basketball. Let's get right into it. First of all, where does the ball sit? Well, for so long and still today, people say that the ball should be on your fingertips. But if I had the ball on my fingertips, this is where it would be. I don't think you've seen too many people shoot the basketball like this. But the correct way where the ball should sit, first of all, is on the pad of the hand. And then the ball is also going to rest on the fingers themselves. So the ball rests on the finger pad, the finger pad, whether you're right-handed or whether you're left-handed. It doesn't matter. It's going to sit on the fingers and come down to the pad. One thing you want is not to have the palm area touching the ball. You want this to be completely open and empty of the basketball. Why? Well, there's a simple illustration of this. If I took this basketball and placed it in my palm and move my palm back and forth, you can see the basketball falls out. But if I move it up on the finger pads, on my fingers, on the pad, move it back and forth, you can see that I have control of the basketball. And this is what happens. You want the ball on the fingers, the pad, making sure the palm is not on the basketball at all. The second part is the hand. Where should the hand be placed on the basketball? Well, the meteor portion of the hand, the back of the hand, should be placed right in the center of the basketball. But the one finger that shoots the basketball in 98% of shooters today, whether you're playing in the high school level, junior high level, college level, or the NBA, they normally shoot with their index finger. Now, how do I know that? Well, whichever finger is in the center of the basketball, that's the last finger that the ball is going to roll off on. Now, how does that happen? Well, let me show you what happens when a ball rolls off and you get ready to shoot. In slow motion, as you can see me doing here, the first thing that comes off is the thumb, and then there's the little finger, then this finger, then, of course, the middle finger, and the last finger off the basketball is your index or your forefinger. The reason is, no matter where I put my finger, it's in the center of the basketball, this forefinger. When you place your hand behind the basketball, make sure that this meaty portion of your hand 